second year? And what kind of jump do you see from him? Uh, he's 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 done a good job. Uh, continue to get better with the details of the position. You know, uh, obviously we know how athletic he is and uh, his his physical ability. So I think just like anything else, as he continues to progress and learn, um, that he's understanding more of how the position operates in everything that he does. You know, in terms of you know route running, blocking, just understanding how things fit, understanding the schemes and, and how he fits into the big picture. Uh, he's improved in that way. When a guy like that sees a veteran ahead of him leave, like like Hooper did, I think he automatically knows, like, uh, hey, this is more my room now, more my spot? Well, you know, he's still. we all come here to prove ourselves every day and, and work. To, to earn the right to be here. So that's the mentality that we we all want as a whole coaching staff and in our room. And then if he, if he kind of morphs into that role because of what he's done, uh, his body of work, then, then that'll be a natural occurrence. What, you, what have you been able to learn about Wesco during this offseason? Uh, Wesco's obviously, he's, he's, he's a vet. Uh, he's got um, some, the ability to play multiple positions. Uh, obviously, we know he's uh, he does a good job at the end as an inline blocker, uh, and in and in uh, protections, he's very detailed in meetings. Uh, he he does everything like a pro, like like you'd expect. Again, just continue to uh, hone in on his craft and 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 understanding the assignments and the details of what he's supposed to uh, be doing and how he can run routes and maybe different tempos or routes, what he's looking at. He's, you know, he's uh, continuing to, to build on his knowledge of coverages and what the defense is trying to do. Uh, so again, as he continues to do that, he'll continue to get better uh, in the past game. I remember. Why is it important to kind of maybe do your thing with your trainer down mm -hmm. in Miami this year? And what did you kind of specifically try to work on? Yeah, um, I mean, it was big, you know, just to try new things. I mean, I feel like it's um, everybody has their own way of doing things, you know, and everything doesn't work for everybody. Uh, you know, I've been here, you know, the last two, three off seasons, and, you know, I've had, you know, great, great time on the field, you know, being here. So I just wanted to try a different approach, you know, and see what it uh, gets me, you know, moving forward. You feel like it got you to where you want to be right now, at least? Yeah, no, nah, definitely. I feel great. How important is this upcoming season for you? Because it's the final year of your rookie contract. You need to show them that you can stay on the field for a full season. How, how important is it for you to have a good year this year? Um, I mean, it's important every year, you know, to have a great year. Um, I expect that of myself. So um, that was just my take on, you know, I wanted to do what I had to do, you know, to make sure I'm there for my team, you know, this upcoming year. And I want to be out there. I will be out there 17 games. So um, that's the approach that I took. Christian, how much was this offseason? Uh, I'll probably yeah. Um, just, you know, it's, it's all mental. You know what I'm saying? When we come in training camp, it's, it's real football. Football coming, pass come on. Um, the whole dynamic of football, just situational football, just whatever, everything that involves football is here uh, come training camp, and we got to be ready for it. How much do you bring something different with your length, your frame, your, your bend? Um, and how much can you be an X factor with that kind of? Thing? Uh, I bring a lot because I can play all throughout, uh, all over the defensive line, um, and that's a, that's a difference. You can rush me outside, you can rush me inside. We got injuries. I can move inside and not miss a beat. So that's why. I'm. How much do you kind of relish your ability to bend, and, and how much does that kind of make you? Different and, and yeah. difficult for all yeah. such No, I, I, I like the band. I love the band, but it's it all predicated off my power. I do a lot, a lot of things off my power, so I can, so that, so the edge can't open up for my band. A question for him, yeah. but in terms of as a coach, it's awesome to see him uh, be happy with where he's headed physically, but also uh, taking a step back and, and learning some other things and watching some film and kind of uh, getting creative and excited to get back and try things out. So um, excited for his, his progress. You've been, Arden been even more than you expected from a, maybe a personality, energy standpoint? No, okay. I, I, 
I said this when we were when we were first talking about uh, the potential of him being here. The number one thing that stuck out to me on film was his passion for himself and his teammates. And uh, so I knew that. I knew we had it in him. Um, I'm just glad it's here. Length and height give you something different. I know he's only an inch different than, than Weaver, but it seems like a different build. Yeah. Um, well, length and height, that's important at that position, right? That's that's one of the things that uh, that we look for. I think if you're comparing those two, the, just the difference is the play style, right? And, uh, you know, Arden moves more in a, in a Gumby fashion. He's got some bend. He's got some, some cool attributes there. So, And that's when you look all around the league, right? You've got a lot of guys that are very similar builds, but what kind of style do they play with? And, and that's what sticks out about him. He does. He, uh, you know, just the way he moves and, uh, you know, he's somewhat of a vet. So he has some experience in doing it. And I think he's he's really uh, honed in on who he is as a as a player and as a rusher. And you can see that um, throughout the spring. So excited about his future. Ryan, working with Lori, uh, what is it that she brings uh, in helping you uh, work with the backers? Yeah, well, she's she's awesome. She, I'm glad she's here. Um, one of the things is she's won the Super Bowl, and I told her that when I first met her is, you know, to be around someone that wins and have someone like that walk into the room with a Super Bowl ring, um, that's awesome. That's number one. And then number two, you know, she's been doing this for quite some time now, been around the game, so she's very knowledgeable. And uh, she does a great job building relationships with the players and feel really comfortable of her. She'll grab a player and work with them and then, Ultimately, at the end of the day, she's helping us to get better, which is what matters the most. Both built a great foundation and look forward to those guys really continue to work over the next four and five weeks and then coming back in when training camp's starting and that stuff will sort itself out. So, I know everybody thinks of uh, Blake and uh, Tim is connected to DeAndre, but, but you were certainly had a relationship with Andre too, I guess, or DeAndre Hopkins, uh, you know, at Houston as well. Did you get a chance to talk to him during his, his visit at all? Uh, or, you know, what kind of relationship uh, did you guys have? You know, I, yeah, I was there at the time in, in Houston, but, you know, right now it's really just about the players that are here. And, you know, I'll let Braves and I'll let Rand talk about, you know, the situation with Hop, but, uh, you know, we did cross paths there in Houston, yeah. I guess it went decently, I guess, anyway, right? <laughs> sure, yeah, okay. sure. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's just really total command of the offense. I think he's done a great job. This offseason, he was tasked with coming in and kind of trying to take his game to to a different level as far as just understanding the fundamentals of football, quarterback play, the offense. And I think he's come in and done a great job of, of doing that and preparing each day. And um, seen him get better with his footwork. I think he's got better with his timing. And uh, as any just young player, just you want to continue to see the growth from, from practice to practice. And we've seen that from him. So hopefully – these next four or five weeks, he can continue to work on the things we've asked him to work on and come back to camp ready to compete. And how has he done as far as like going through progression, uh, not being a one read, just actually going through back and forth from that perspective? You know, I, I, I think I think he's done a good job. Like I said, he's improved a little bit each day, and that's all we're asking for him. And uh, he's done a good job of accepting the challenge and learning the offense, and uh, we're excited about it. As being a, after this practice, you know, what are some of the things that you'll charge him with going forward you know, through the offseason until training camp? Yeah, sure. Just continue to build on the foundation that we've set these last few weeks. Like, for both he and Will, they can't come back here at the end of July and we can't start from, from scratch again. They've got to continue to continue to improve, continue to study, continue to master the offense. So when they get back here at the end of July, we can hit the ground running and continue to get better each day instead of having to go back and, and rehash some stuff.